losses and are nearing normalcy as evident by their positive quarterly results. As a result of this, the expectation is for the companies to lower the prices of petrol and diesel since they no longer face under recoveries in these fuels. This is again according to government sources. Now imports, remember, meet about 85% of India's crude oil needs. In India, fuel prices are adjusted daily at 6 a.m. and that is based on a 15-day rolling average of benchmark prices. Now there are certain measures that the government can take to control a fuel price hike. Those include, you know, negotiations with oil producing countries and those countries must then ease their manufacturing or production constraints to achieve enough of a production volume and seamless imports. Now, remember, when it comes to soaring oil prices, it raises the cost of every commodity that we use on a daily basis. We're crossing over to CNN News 18's senior editor, Pallavi Ghosh, to help us understand why this is happening. Yes, Pallavi. So essentially... Um I mean, what is the fact that you pointed out, you know, Indian oil companies are now, uh, one, they have always complained about under-recovery. They've also complained about the fact that there was a depletion in their reservoir, especially in the context of what happened between Russia and Ukraine. Mm -hmm. And more importantly, the finance ministry would always say that India is linked to a global crude oil prices. So whenever the global crude oil prices rise, uh, India gets affected by it. So what the uh, government has been stepping in into this, but now what we are picking up, which is something which we are putting out is, that all on the three counts, there has been a comfortable situation. There is an easing out of the situation, and therefore the government can, and the oil companies, more importantly, can reduce those prices of diesel as well as petrol. You talked about a rippling effect. That's a very important factor. Mm -hmm. We are also state elections. Let's not cut out the politics of it all. And the rise in fuel prices has also been an issue, which has been raised very often by the opposition, but the government has been largely helpless about it, saying it's got, some, it's got to do with external factors beyond the control of the government. So this would come as a huge relief to the consumers, uh, certainly if your fuel prices come down. Absolutely. Pallavi, thank you so much for joining us and bringing us those very important details. I think the big question on everybody's mind now is going to be how much exactly the prices are going to be cut down by. Well, that's it from me. Up next, you have my colleague Toya to bring you forward.